destination. You've reached your destination. Absolute joy to have you with me uh, this morning. Anne Smith and uh, John McArdle, you're both very welcome indeed. Thank you, Rowan. And these dear friends across the planet, wherever you're viewing this morning, be it in Manhattan or the west coast of America, wherever you are, the Antipodes are down uh, over in Canada, Montreal, Toronto, wherever. These are folk uh, are very much Dominicans to the core of your being, dare I say. Well, Dominican say, Catholics. Well, I would disagree with the term Dominican Catholics. I would say Christians. Christians, <laughs> yes, which is I a lovely, don't it's like a lovely a notion. Divisive, uh, I normally whisper when I say I'm a Christian because once upon a time there were early Christians who all ended up crucified because they were Christians. <laughs> so you need to be careful. But oh, I, mean, I hope it won't come to that. No, no, no. God help us. There are parts of the world it is coming to I that, know, it which is, is the awful thing, it you is, know. Yeah. We had uh, we, we had a, a bomb for the first time in uh, in Contagora on the way from Abuja to the river in Africa and you know the significance of the river and yes. uh, once it was up in the northeast where Boko Haram were striking but this person came all the way over and Contagora where Bishop Tim Casey lived I stayed in the house with him there drove the motorcycle into a school not one of ours thank God well not um, it's heartbreaking for any children to yes. be harmed. Not Four dead. Four not dead. forgetting last year, that's for all those children, the girls Up from the, the school northeast, yeah. were abducted yeah. and they're still... Um, still gone. Still, still gone. Still gone. Yeah. Over, 200, over 200 yeah. children. Yes. Unbelievable. Let's talk about Lexio Divina. Uh, no, no, Lexio Divina and the nature of... It's a, it's a form of scripture-based worship, yes? Yes, it's an ancient form of Bible reading. Uh, it was the way the church was formed for the first thousand years, uh, reading the Bible, yeah. reading the scriptures, reading the word of God for the first thousand years, and then fell away, fell out of favor uh, for a number of reasons, but is now regaining um, mm. popularity as a way of renewing yeah. people's lives. There's an intimacy about it in, in the spirituality of it. You're all sitting around together with passages yes. that you study at a particular evening. Is that the way it works? Yes, it is. It's a way of reading the Bible in a way that the Word of God t t uh, speaks to your life experience. <coughs> and your life experience, you see it in the Word of God. Mm. So it's, um, it, it's also a way of doing theology and of forming community. Yes. Those three... Uh, Mm -hmm. which is uh, certainly we here in Uri are very blessed in that we have Father Joseph Ralph, who is... The Dominican, the yes, prior, prior, yes, dear Dominican. Joe, yes, he's so a good man. He is. Uh -huh. So this is what we're... Uh, he's dedicated to, about to it. ...this morning, so yeah. it's growing very much in Uri, uh, and this is what we're wanting to form uh -huh. as the Dominican Lexio Divina Center. I thought you had that already, John. Yes, we have, we have had it now for about, what, 12, 18 months or two years. But as my friend says, it's growing. It's growing. Yeah. So this is why we're involved here. We're also involved in trying to raise funds. There are two houses beside the church there, 35 and 37 Dominic Street. Mm -hmm. So we're, he wants to have simultaneous meetings. We have prayer meetings from Monday to Thursday. The groups are growing. The number of groups are growing. So we want to have these groups, these pr running uh, together. Yes. And this is why we want to do something regarding those two houses. There, one, one of them in particular is in need of, uh, you can nearly say, reconstruction. Yes, There's a yes. lot of work to be mm. done. So we're trying to raise some funds. So that, that's the angle that I'm coming in so on. So, John, the, at the end of the day, when the work is done, what will be manifest there on Dominic Street? What will we see? Well, we'll have a greater growth, obviously. We'll be making provision for more groups uh, uh, from Monday to Thursday. Yeah. You know, we meet for about an hour, an hour and a quarter. And the, the, the crack, we would say the crack is good. The crack is, uh, well, you're more and more connected to Christ. That's the very That's important an interesting factor. enough concept. You're, you're getting connected to Christ through a book that you hold in your knee and you read out of. Some might say you connect best with Christ yes. through your embrace of other yes. human beings. It's a great way of forming a personal relationship with uh -huh. Christ mm -hmm. and that it transforms your own life and then it transforms uh, society. You see uh, the culture and the civilization that we're living in in a different light. It throws light on your own experience and on the experience of the Bible. It speaks yes. to both. If, you're, if, if it's bringing you closer to Christ 
dare I assume that it's, uh, you, you, you uh, prioritize the New Testament? Yes, it is. Mm. We follow the Sunday liturgy of the church yes. for Eucharist. For the, so that Eucharist becomes, Sunday Mass becomes the high point of the week for uh -huh. you. So we have prayed and read and lived the Word of God for the week. And then when we come to the Eucharist on Sunday as a bigger community, uh, where mm -hmm. we ha we're, it becomes more a high point of our yeah, lives, your head, yes. a living word. A living word. And, but you, you mentioned Father Joseph Ralph, who is one of the great preachers on the island yes. at the moment. Yes. Joe would, uh, one of the first things he said when he became prior was that his ministry would be Jesus-centered. Yes. And that's what he wants to give expression that's to. Exactly right. And is Lexio doing that? Is that yes, that's it what is. It's about? Uh, the communities are growing. As John said, we have two meetings uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The early one at 6 30, yeah. and the later one at quarter past eight. And those communities are growing to such yeah. an extent that we need more space. Wow, yes. And the, the space which we have. And also to have a theology center in yes. Uri. Wow. You know, it is. That's like, the Theology yes. used to be part of our Christian tradition, uh -huh. but uh, it, for different reasons it moved into academia. Yes. But with mm. Lexio Divina, you don't need money, you don't need time or to go a distance, and you, you don't need any mm. academic background. Everyone mm. can do it. It's open yeah. to everyone. And Father Joseph has really found it and developed the communities. Yeah. How, so, who, who, who leads... <laughs> I beg your pardon. Who leads the sessions during the week? Uh, well, Father Joseph does the, the first ones. Uh -huh. you, uh, we've just started now for Advent. <coughs> but uh, we have mm. done training courses for the people who are, have mm. been there for a while so that they're willing to give their experience uh -huh. and their knowledge and for the mm. good. If Father Joseph uses the term, which I think is lovely, servants of the word. Servants of the word. So each. Well, if you listen to what Christ said yes. and you serve that, yes. by gum you're on the right path. Well, there's, we, no doubt, there's no doubt about so. it. We, we, I think it has something, I feel passionately about it. I feel it has something wonderful to offer to people today as mm -hmm. a way of finding meaning for life. And there is, in the method that we do, uh, meditation and contemplation, yeah. you know, it embraces all So how does the session it. work? Uh, do you come in and you have your Bible, you have your New Testament there, and you sit down, you're together in a room. Yes. Uh, you're sitting maybe around a table, or are you Well, it's Bible-centered, ba it's Word-centered. So you have, each person has a, has a Bible. Each person has the Word with them in some form. Yes. And the word, the Bible is at the center of, of, the, uh -huh. of the meeting. Uh, and uh, then we read the scripture together. Together you read a yes. selected piece. And then we would um, meditate on, on that. Well, usually we have prayed with it from the week before. Uh -huh. We read the scripture, the gospel for the following Sunday. Yeah. And we meditate on that for the week. And then we, um, we share where it has taken us in prayer. Yeah. And then we glorify God at work in the lives of each of us. And you and articulate that. Yes, we do. Yeah, yes. what you, uh, what each individual has, has done it, it, it in has order to it. give expression to the word. That's right. And well, that, of course, encourages others. It, it, it's it's not only encourages, it, it builds up your own, uh, ama uh, awe, you feel in awe of the work of yeah. God at, at work in each person in the community. Yes. And then we move into the contemplative moment, which is the moment of silence, which can be very powerful and very precious in a world today that's busy and where oh, silence yes. is yeah. not so yeah. easily found. And then uh, we pray together. And then we move into what is called the wisdom moment, in which we try to express uh, the way we have prayed and the wisdom that we have taken from the Word, from the word. in a sentence that would be could be used anywhere in the world you know, yes, yes. to people who've never heard of Christ, you yeah. know, that it comes to that wisdom moment. Mm -hmm. John, you, you strike me as a man who leads a life that doesn't necessarily need any additionality to your Christian belief. 
What are you getting out of it? Because you're a good <coughs> Christian, you're a good man. Right, right. Yeah. Well, the marvelous thing that my colleague Anne says is um, we look at the, the gospel of the previous Sunday and we break that down, as it were, and we interpret that. How do we fit in to that? And there's no doubt about it. It is marvelous because what we are hearing in the epistles and gospels there. That, and if you go back to the Old Testament and the New Testament, the, the, it was real life. There's no great to change. Man hasn't really changed. So this is an opportunity for us to look at this, to break this down, and to try to incorporate what we see and hear. And whenever that's broken down, then we try to apply that to our everyday yeah. life. But John, you, you, you say it there, you're so right. You know, none of this is any good if it's a standalone inside four walls experience That's right. you've got to uh, if you if you're contemplating the good samaritan story yeah. You've got to go out and be the good That's Samaritan. Right. You've got to take it out, and I hate the word sell, but you've got to sell it to your to your own family yeah. and to your neighbour. You've got to you've got to try and live it, and it's really you're 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 living Christ. And is there a group? Right. Uh, you're a wit. In other words, you're witnessing, and you are the a witness, yeah. day in and day out. And how many people, Anne, have you got over there at the moment? Well, each community has a maximum of 10 people in it. So you have 10 in many communities. You have I, I think there are eight going now. In your age? Yes. yes. So you have 80 people? Yeah. Yes, as well as a new uh, course beginning next Thursday, both in the morning and the evening. So um, it is a growing community and mm. transforming people's lives. So that's what I was going to say to you. Can I assume then that we have, uh, we have 80 people in your age? Yes who are using this experience as the road map to Christ That's through the world exactly. of action. That is there are exactly. people who are going out and being Christ in the community. That's right. The little uh, words from the psalm, your word is a light for my path. And that really is what people are finding. The word of God becomes, mm -hmm. lights their mm -hmm. journey, mm -hmm. both past, present and future. It gives you a vision too of the future, of yeah. what can be. And certainly at the, at the moment, Pope Francis is very uh, enthusiastic about Lexio Divina. Well, why it's wouldn't very, he be? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, you know, he's, he's just back from Strasbourg this week, and we're covering him in the news this morning. I refer to him as Francis the Good. Yes. I like to use that term about him. But uh, the, the, the thing is, in, in doing this, you don't need, I take it, to, be, to, to hold a, a PhD no. in... This is the spirituality. <coughs> I beg your pardon for my cold. No. PhD in spirituality to do this. No. If you're if you're clinging in there by your fingertips, you go and your faith can grow as well as a consequence. It is the beauty. We're also of it. taking it out to we're taking it out to Dundalk. We're taking it out to Carlingford. So it's they're spreading. Bad, oh, they're very right. pagan people there. You need to go. Yeah, the, 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 usually, I, I right. comes to mind as John's yeah. letter to the, right. Carla For, the Carling Fordians. Yeah, and the other fact, of course, I am very much involved in. We need to raise funds. Yeah. We've got an excellent quiz. We were flying, we were flying high there in our spirituality, <laughs> and you bring us oh, back. Yeah. back to you yeah. get out of the temple, yeah. the money yeah. we but throw you out. I think it was Archbishop Marcinka said one time, it takes more than him to run the, the church. And all. Yeah, so we need <laughs> To write. So we've got a marvellous uh, quiz on the 11th of December in the Canal Court Hotel. Of course, and there of, of young uh, yes. uh, and we've got Aiden O'Rourke. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Aidan's yes, doing tremendous work. work. And we've got a walk coming up soon organised by Paddy Duffy and Eddie uh, Eddie Curtis in council for this. Uh, so we have an awful lot over the next 12, 18 months <coughs> ventures to raise funds. And that's How much do you important. need? We need about a hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Right. Okay. Hundred, yeah. Now that that sounds very very large, but that can be done because people are the generosity of our people of Newry and not just Newry and suburban Newry and further afield. Yeah. Uh, it knows no yes, limits. Already. Why don't yeah. you do what what uh, John Kearney did in Warren Point? Uh, uh, Fergal was on the committee there, right. where you got people to sign up to a monthly banker's order, and that with a monthly banker's order you had the guarantee that the money would come in. Yeah, but we've got to be very, very careful because the cathedral themselves, they are in need of dire funds. For instance, they need a half a million pounds to really renovate St. Mary's, Mary's Church in right. Chapel Street. Yes. So we've got, we, wa we want to be careful not to step on their toes, as it were, you know. Yeah. So there's all around us, there are people looking left, right and centre for funds. So we've got to give everyone a chance. Wow, yes. uh, you're, you're definitely more Christian than I am. 
I would go for the jugular and take <laughs> everything I could get and build Lexio <laughs> because, you know. Right. But we move forward in great hope because oh, people yeah. are, oh, have yeah. been they very are. generous oh, yeah. already. Absolutely. I love your, I love yeah. your, your, your swage all oh, sort of angularity. <laughs> we, we, with the words, we can move forward in great hope. <laughs> Just so gentle, Anne. Right. It's lovely. Right. Lovely all together. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you've, got the, you've got the table, the quiz coming. The quiz the on the coming. 11th of December in the Canal Court yes. at 9 o'clock. So we're hoping to raise to do fairly well there. And we will. So getting the message out is very important. Communication is, v is nearly everything in the day and age we live you in. So know. communicating our message and our hopes and what we hope to achieve and what to raise. Have you a, web a website for it yet? Uh, yes. We, because it's well, such a powerful message. You should be using the social media. Yes, the website is underway. We hope to have it Good. now the, for the first Sunday of Advent. It's almost ready. And uh, w we're also producing a little leaflet. Um, with the guidelines at the back for Advent, the Lexio Divina community have. Yes. Uh, it's on the Dominican notice board. Good. Uh, so. Well, since we're, we're all needing to raise money, may I invite you to tell all your Lexio people, if they're of a certain age, <laughs> and if they get a free, if they get a, a winter fuel grant from the government, <laughs> yes. uh, yes, <laughs> please join me in my winter fuel right, pledge right. to St. Vincent de Paul. Right. If you right. don't really right. need it, right. yes. you get 200 quid. Right or whatever it is. Right. And St. Vincent's, last year we got them 7,500 right. right. just right. because we give up our winter Do fuel allowance. Yes. Be, you know, we, it's not going to mm. kill me if I don't. So if you know of anyone within Lexio, yes. winter fuel allowance, don't need it, give it to uh, St. Vincent de Paul. The and that's, of course, taking the message of Lexio out in, right. into life as well, isn't yes. it? The other yes. factor from the Dominicans, and this is important to remember, the Dominicans allocated there a few months back £7,500 to the Citizens Advice Bureau. Doesn't and that came right. as a result of the St. Martin of Wiener collection on a Monday morning and Monday evening. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Doesn't and the, the work that they do, the work that that collection has done, and it's cross community. Yeah. You know, whether it be head injuries or whatever, they've done tremendous work. So the Dominicans are playing a vitally important part and making a magnificent contribution to our community and the wider community. Let me tell you, it goes beyond that. Uh, there's a little boy called Tony, and he's in e right. King's School in Eastleigh, right. in the southeast of England. Yeah. And Tony is here, and he's fostered down there because the Dominicans right. provided 6,000 pounds that was council. necessary. That's right. That was necessary. And they That's did right. it. The That's Dominicans right. did it. And uh, similarly, two huge suitcases full of spectacles they give me, which I carted over the River Niger <laughs> with the blessings <laughs> and the love of the Dominicans. So Fantastic. I know what the Dominicans You're are no, about. Tremendous. They're great people. Unbelievable. Yeah, Unbelievable. They are. Great preachers of the word and livers yeah. of the word. Yeah. They live the word. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they are. Yeah, they, they are. Oh, yeah. Well, we lost that great Dominican, of course. It broke our hearts. Father Jared. Jared Ferran. Oh, yes. And uh, he was a great loss. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> we have a marvellous man at the moment, a new man, Father Travers, a very famous Dominican, a very famous writer. And I've spoken to him a few weeks ago, and it, he, he said to me, it was a tr to the order. He was a tremendous loss. Oh, of oh. course he was. Where would you go to? You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And a son of Nuri. Ah, so oh, a son of Nuri. A, a, Nuri, a Nuri ship's captain. That's, That's what he right. Was. Yeah, That's right. There's a toughness. Ah, oh, well, he's in heaven looking after That's right. us. I Wonderful hope. character. So how do people help? You better tell the folk. We're winding up now. Yeah. What do we yeah. do? <clears throat> That's, that's, that's half an hour, by the way, Anne. Oh, my goodness. Where does time go? <laughs> Anne was asking earlier how long do we talk. Well, I said, well, as long as we want to talk. <laughs> I was a bit concerned. Yeah. Lead on there, Anne. Lead on. So we, 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 if we they want to be involved, they contact right. the Dominican. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's, yes. And you can't miss the Dominican. Yeah. 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 And there's another important factor. We're hoping to get our hands on a clapometer. That's one of these, these, one of these uh, situations. You see at the back of a church there, and Lord rest Father Gus Dougherty. Gus got one away way back. It sits at the back of the church, and it goes up maybe 5, 10, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Multiples yeah. of 5,000. Now, do you know what's going to happen? So we're informing then, you're informing your congregation every Sunday. They, such and such, every so much come in this week, every, you know. And then, of course, you have a target. And if you reach the target then. Yeah. So I have spoken to a chap. And the best, maybe the best joiner in town. He'll do it for He's you. He's going to do it for me. Yeah. yeah. So I'll we're looking you. forward to seeing the clapometer. I mean, and you, it's a novelty <laughs> for the children. It is, of course. You yeah. mentioned Gus Doherty. I never, the first time I met Gus Doherty. Wonderful man. I was racing out, and he's buried up beside Jared. That's right. That's right, yeah. I, or Jared's buried beside him, beside back him. in the church. Yeah. I was coming out of the 
ward uh, visiting my wife. She was having her last child, I think it might have been. But uh, going out, and I see this huge presence coming through the doors. The doors are bursting <laughs> open, and he's got a pre he's obviously a priest. Right. I said, Father, come, come. You're obviously on a mission to save souls. <laughs> right. I, I, please come. He says, Sir, I've been a priest 45 years or whatever it was. I have seen tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of human beings. I have yet to see a single soul. And away he went about his business. That was, that was Gus. Wonderful that was Gus. character. A dairy Wonderful man. Character. Yeah, a dairy man. great man. Oh, yeah. But much loved in Yuri. Absolutely. He spoke it as it were. He talked the language of the people. He did. He, he did, talked the language. Did. And the people loved him for that. I want to thank oh, yeah. you for coming in. Well done. Uh, we wish you well. Will you keep in touch? Thank for you, sure. Ron, and, uh, for sure. Thank you. I, I could actually, I must go and explore this uh, Lexio Divina because yes. one needs all the... All the accoutrements one can get to, to actually bolster and to encourage and to carry one forward on this great pathway. Well, with your knowledge, <coughs> with your knowledge and connections, I have no doubt you will direct people and hopefully funds in our direction. Me? And we'd be very grateful to you for that. <laughs> no, I'm committed to the right. cathedral. <laughs> yeah. No, I would, no, you, no, 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 I'm just pulling your leg yeah. on. But you've done, I must pay We've a tribute to you. You've done tremendous work yourself. Well, we, everybody has helped. We've done, it's, it's about living the word. That's it's that simple. Yeah. And we all do it in our own way. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. We all do it in our own way, and it's very important. Uh, because I, I, I am firmly of the belief, and I share it with you, that the nearest you come to feeling the heaven feeling, where you're going when we pass on. The nearest you, f you get to feeling that heaven factor on earth is when you are the good Samaritan, yeah. when you lift the broken person. And when you do that, that moment of lifting, that's as close as you can get on earth to being in heaven. I then believe that when your time comes to go, in whatever circumstance we go, when your time comes to go, you who have been the Samaritan all your life, you become the Sumerian lying in the side of the road, and the Samaritan comes to you. And the Samaritan at that moment of your passing is no, none other than Jesus himself. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. So that's, that's what we live on. No, no doubt about it. So we're, we're yeah. going well. So I like to think that I'm the person at the back of the church, mea culpa, mea culpa. I told you before, <laughs> don't do modesty. You deprive ordinary folk of your brilliance job. <laughs> oh, no. Can you listen? You believe you're listening to a politician. <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, go well. We're going into a All break. Right. Thank you. Right. Coming up shortly, it's uh, the Southern Regional College and it's Des Murphy. We're hearing about the life and times and haute cuisine of the catering faculty, including that wonderful graduate restaurant. So back in a moment. Destination Yuri. Keep it on. We're back in moments. When the swallows come back to Capistrano, that's the day you promised to come back to me. When you whispered farewell in Capistrano, twas the day the swallows flew out to the sea. All the mission bells will ring, the chapel choir will sing. The happiness you'll bring will live in my memory when the swallows come back to Capistrano. That's the day I pray that you'll come back to me.
the chapel choir will sing the happiness you will bring will live in my memory when the swallows come back to capistrano that's the day i pray that you Come back to me. Destination Yuri. Keep it on. We're back in moments. You can find a smile in all directions. A million miles away, right by your side. Take a look around you It's right here for you and The Keys Nuri Where the journey continues <laughs> 